Dear students, in this lecture, we are going to see what are the various forms of DNA that have been existing in nature. We are going to see the significance of the form or the conditions under which the kind of a forms will be exhibited. DNA on the living organisms commonly contains a right hand helical coiling which has been referred as a B form or B DNA. So this is the common DNA or biologically important form of DNA that have been widely distributed or commonly and naturally present in the living organisms. Apart from B DNA, <coughs> there are other forms of DNA such as A DNA, C DNA, Z DNA, they are all found to exist there. This alternative forms of DNA seems to exist under some specific conditions which includes relative humidity and the presence and absence of certain metal ions. And then the difference between these forms exhibit in the number of residues that have been present per turn, space occupied by the residues along the helical axis. So based on these differences are all, there seems to exist different forms of DNA. First, we try to look at the difference exists between the A and B forms of the DNA. A form of DNA, that is A DNA, is a right-handed helix but less hydrated form than that of the B DNA. A DNA is more compact compared to B DNA. So it has 11 base pairs per turn of the helix with a 23 Armstrongs in diameter. However, if you look at into the B DNA, it is 34 Armstrong in diameter. That is one turn of helix measures about 34 Armstrong and they found to contain only 10 nucleotides. Next point, in A DNA, bases are tilted more in relation to the axis of the helix compared to that of the B DNA. And the next point is the B DNA is found in fibers of living cells at a very high, that is 92 percentage relative humidity condition and with a low ionic strength. However, A form of DNA are abundant only under 75 percentage of the humidity and in the presence of high ionic strength of sodium, potassium and cesium ions. There is also another form that will be dominating in the conditions, natural conditions that is C forms of DNA which exists when a relative humidity is of 66 percentage with the presence of lithium ions. Now we are going to see about the Z DNA which is also referred as a left-hander DNA, left-hander helix DNA. This is a form of DNA which predominantly occur or made as a synthetic nucleotides. That is, they won't occur in nature. They can be only artificially synthesized, mainly for certain crystallography studies. So certain crystallography study related on synthetic nucleotide have identified unique presence of alternating purine and pyrimidines of GC, 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 GC. So this kind of a alternating purine and pyrimidines are abundant there in the Z form of the left hand DNA. This DNA is also called as a Z DNA because it's little bit zigzag in structure compared to that of the A form or in the B forms of the DNA. Z DNA can also found in solutions of high ionic strength such as 2 molar sodium chloride. In Z form of DNA, the molecule still consists of two anti parallel chains as that of the A and B forms of the DNA. However, the helix of the Z DNA is 18 Armstrong in diameter that allows keeping of around 12 base pairs in a turn. The differences and similarity of the Z DNA and B DNA can be summarized and it has been shown below. You can just look it out. Similarities are both are double helical in structure and anti parallel. In both DNA, the two polynucleotide strands are double helix or anti parallel. That is, double helical is one point, anti parallel is second point, and third one, both forms exhibit a G to C base pairing. Now we look at the differences. Why I have specifically given the similarity and differences is. In a previous year, 
they were asked write about the similarities and differences of B and Z DNA as a, some seven more questions I think so. Okay, so you need to concentrate on this thing. The Z DNA is a left-handed helical sense, while the B DNA is a right-handed helical sense. The phosphate backbone of the Z DNA is a zigzag in appearance. However, the B DNA's backbone is very regular in shape. <laughs> in Z DNA, the adjacent sugar residues have opposite orientation, while in B DNA they form a same orientation. Due to this. The repeating unit is a dinucleotide in Z DNA, whereas it's a mononucleotide unit in the B DNA. The fourth point in Z DNA, one complete helix that is twist around 360 degree has a total of 12 base pairs or six repeating dinucleotide units, whereas in the B DNA, one complete helix is made up of only 10 base pairs or 10 repeating base pair units. The fifth point, the angle of twist that is rotation per repeating unit that is for a dinucleotide in Z DNA is 60 degree whereas it is 36 degree for the mononucleotide in the B DNA. In Z DNA, one complete turn of helix is 45 Armstrong long whereas in B DNA it is only 34 Armstrong in length. Since bases get more length spread out in Z DNA, and the angle of tilt is 60 degree, they are closer to the axis. Due to this fact, the diameter of the Z DNA molecule is 18 Armstrong compared to that of the 20 Armstrong of the B DNA. Lastly, we look at the summary of certain major differentiating features that have been existing between these three forms of the DNA that is A DNA, B DNA as well as Z forms of DNA. First, we look at it with the helical sense. A form and B form are of right-handed helix. However, the Z form is of a left-handed helix. Diameter of this helix is 2.6 nanometer, whereas the B1 is a 2 nanometer and the Z form is a 1.8 nanometer. Base pair that have been present per helical turn is 11 under A form, whereas it's 10 under B form. Z form is the one in which it's uh, six dimers totally constitutes 12 base pairs. Helical twist per base pair is 33 degree, whereas B form is of a 36 and Z is 60 degree due to the presence of the dimeric condition. Then the major groove and minor groove, how they are appearing there with the different forms. Major groove is narrow and deep in the A form, whereas it's wide and deep in the B form, whereas it's highly flat there in the is that form. Minor groove is wide and shallow in the A form whereas narrow and deep in the B form and it is narrow and deep again in the Z form also. Then we look at the glycosidic bond, a bond that attaches the sugar with the nitrogenous base. That bonding pattern is of an anti configuration there in the A and B form whereas it is an anti as well as sin configuration there with reference to pyramidine and purine.